Welcome back, my pretty people. How y'all doing today? Dory back again. So, we continue with these videos. What are we talking about today? Guess what? Face lotions. Body lotions. Okay, which ones to use? I got the United Nations in the house. Welcome. All kinds here. I use all kinds. That's my thing here. I have France in the house. I have U.S. in the house. I got Korea. I got Tokyo in the house. I even got Mexico in the house. And we'll talk a little bit about them. So, today I'm going to explain to y'all what to do with face lotions. <clears throat> Which one to use. Doors back to basic. Young people. How many of y'all remember, older people, how many of y'all remember these products? Okay. Very simple to use. I've I've seen in my in my office where a lady was 65. She looked like she was in her 40s. I asked her a secret, and that's what she told me. Been using it since she was young. You know, there's all kinds out there. You know that are just basic. Okay. So, what to use first? Young people and older people can use this. Okay. This is a hyaluronic acid, <clears throat> Korea base. I get it cheaper. I don't know how much it costs out there. It's good for you. It's good for supples of your face. Make sure that it's bouncy. It re diminishes wrinkles. Um, it has uh, ingredients in there. Mine has uh, uh, vitamin C. <clears throat> so it has a lot of good benefits. It doesn't dry up your face. It's made to have a hydrating effect. <clears throat> Excuse me. For you young people out there. So, what about retinol? Yeah, there's a lot of prescriptions out there. Retin-A is the one that's prescribed with a lot of dermatologists, and that's also good. Uh, just watch yourself out there. If you're gonna put Retin-A on your face, uh, try to do it in the evening time where you don't get too much exposure to UV lights because it does tend to have a little blemish effect on the retinol, but uh, that could be on your skin while you're doing that. I'm not, I don't have any evidence that it's 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 consistent of that to where it does stain your face. I don't have any evidence of that. Uh, but what the retinol does do, it actually kind of like the reptile effect. It creates a new skin effect because try it on the little uh, areas underneath the people with acne and test it because it will have redness. It will have dryness. It's made for that, okay, uh, so that you can get new skin. Okay, so let's see what else we got. Okay, we got a Tokyo. I use this Tokyo brand, Shishido. It's pretty good as well. Uh, thank you for all my clients, my family, and my friends that have that know what I like and continue buying me these type of products so that I can see what's good and we learn from all those experimental uh, things. Like I said, <clears throat> do y'all remember, speaking of the experimental, that experimental one, uh, the ingredients about the uh, blemishes? Well, I put it on my one of my blemishes. Um, I did use it for um, four days, though. I have good skin, so I don't recommend that you use it. I used it between six to eight hours in the evening time because I work in the uh, daytime. It did go away. It diminished at least at least eighty percent. Um, it took it away. Now, for us people that are older, we have to be persistent. I don't buy the thing that is going to go away in three days. You know, you just have to deal to see what it's going to do. Uh, people that have fair skin, just use it for 15 minutes. Try it on a, a, a tested skin first. And if it if it burns too much, uh, reduce the acid, as I told you, a little bit of the lemon juice and that kind of thing. But use it 15 minutes at a time. And then wash it off and leave your skin like that. If, uh, and then if it burns too much, leave it until the next day. People that want to use it two times a day in the morning and at night, they can. If you got my skin, moms, you can use it all day. Put it on your on your skin. It's good for wrinkles. It's good for all that. That's a cream that I used in a previous uh, video. Y'all should go. It's called Acne, I believe, in dark spots. <clears throat> so anyway, it is good. It does work. But like I said, I'm going to stop using it uh, because now my new skin is coming in. So I'm going to wait a week, and then I'm going to target it again. My little spot should be diminished more, and then I'll target that next week, and I'll continue using it. And you can continue using it, and it and your 
And your little ingredients that I taught y'all to make, that if they're, you put them in the refrigerator, that should last there about a week to two weeks. And, and seal them very tight and you should be okay, okay? So just tell your mom not to use it and put on there writing, do not use this for face, okay? Now, I'll tell y'all a little uh, funny story that I had here. Uh, I was telling my daughters, they bought me a Lancome. Franz is in the house. Fran Franz makes good Lancome products as well. And then you have Avon, which has been around for a long time, yes, products. And I was telling her, I said, guess what I did? Uh, Macy's asked me to do a professional review, and I did a and I did a, a bobo mistake on it. And I said, and I'm human, so uh, just know that I do make mistakes too. Um, so anyway, I wrote them a review about Lancome and that they had bought from Macy's for... Christmas and it was so good. Uh, I wrote the review and I said I love this little contraption that y'all make this little metal little ball pen thing and I said it helps me so much under eyes. I, I put the under eye cream and I just massage it around and it's so good for saggy eyes and those kind of things and I will teach you what to do with your with your puffy eyes and dark dark circle eyes in the next video. I will show you how to make. <clears throat> but this is just face lotions. So anyway, I was I was telling them that they made such a good product and uh, that Lancome had made such a good product and thank you very much for introducing this little contraption. And and then I found that and, and I told my daughter, and guess what? She said, what? I said, well, as that turned out to be, it wasn't Lancome, it was Avon. <laughs> so anyway, that's that was my bow boy <laughs> so anyway if y'all see this it's good now if you don't have that something at home i use the little cappuccino spoons i put them in the freezer from time to time and this is what i do okay now when they're in the freezer make sure you don't get uh freezer type of burns because those don't go away so make sure that you go like this and then rub it don't just stay on there because it will give you a little permanent mark and you don't want that so just go this i think it's just the the cool metal that those under eye circles have in there you have a lot of little vessels that get crunched up in there and they just need to be released okay so that helps them out the coolness of it and um so anyway which one to use you have all kinds of skin so read up on it see if you have dry skin good skin and that's what those ladies are there for. Like me, they, you can ask them, see what kind of skin you have, and they'll they'll recommend something that's worked for you. Now, if you don't want to pay, <clears throat> what hundred dollars? <throat> excuse me. You can pay for this dermacell. They're, they're not that much. Grocery stores or whatever, you know, they, they don't have anything hyperallergenic. They don't have any kind of perfumes or anything. <clears throat> you can use that. Combine it, combine it with this <clears throat> and then you can continue doing your own little thing as long as you have the basics vitamin a d e um those are fine those are all good and even c are good for your face you know so if you you can't use any kind of perfumes or any chemicals then you can make your own you know um and you can do that as well with these little even the, the cheaper kind of lotions i use body lotions i use um the funny thing around my house is um, mom, what is that smell? Well, I, I finally told my kids, if you don't like my smells on my lotions, um, then buy me lotions that you do want to smell in the house. That was a lavender. So the one in Luciana brought me some, uh, doctor, this is spearmint and uh, eucalyptus. And so I use them around the house a lot every day for my hands because I do work on facials and, and, uh, massages. And I, I do, even though I do have soft hands and, but they do get dry from time to time, so I use it every day in my massages and things like that. I do have strong hands, thank God, knock on wood. But anyway, um, Mexico was in the house as well. Here's something, a product from Mexico. This is kind of new for me. I'm going to try it out it's for my neck and my underneath here. So when you're massaging a lotion, and I'll just teach you real quick. I'll use this Lancome right here. You're massaging a lotion, one, two, three, four, not a whole lot. Just go upwards with it. Upwards, upwards motion, okay? There you go. See? And make sure your, your, your hands, mine are clean. Make sure your hands are always clean, okay? And massage, and massage. You can even tap it. And you know what the tapping is for? Oh, tapping is very important in our massages. Why? Because it circulates the blood vessels in there, and it actually activates collagen. Hello. Collagen is what makes you look supple and, 
and very bouncy face, very hydrating. So anyway, and don't forget, don't forget your neck. Very important. And here's what I do with my neck. Go up, up, up. And if you have the hands, thumbs, go up like that. Dun, dun, dun. You see? There you go. Just like that. You know, there's some muscles right here. Okay? And for those of you who have puffy eyes, of course, I showed you that little contraption, the little middle thing, where you can always use your, your fingers, index fingers, and massages for about two minutes and blow for about two minutes. Just like that. And, and this helps those uh, saggy eyes. And of course, ha eat a lot of vegetables. People out there that have puffy eyes, uh, stay away from salt. Salt, stay away from it. It does create a lot of, uh, it retains a lot of your fluids that you have in your body. So uh, eat a lot of veggies, fruits, and watch your diets and you'll see how your skin. I don't use a lot of makeup. You see, I, I basically use lipstick. Uh, I don't use uh, a lot of products, and if I do, I use things that are natural. And we'll talk about makeup in other segments. But you see, now my hands are so soft, and I'm ready to go to work. And I'm always washing my hands, whether I'm doing hair or I'm doing faces. I'm always washing my hands, but I always have some kind of lotions next to me. It's always a good idea, moms, to have something like this uh, next to the sink as you wash your hands and disinfect your kids. Have it so that they can get used to rubbing it on their themselves and on yourself so that you always have good hands and there's some with antibacterial lotions too out there for kids that kind of thing so those are my tips on what to do with faces and don't forget your face and your neck and how to do it and how to do your massages and how to go and work your your lotions around and there's the I showed you how to put the under eye cream okay and and it's okay and that this helps around so that you can get rid of a lot of wrinkles and things like that so there's a lot of pressure points that, that I've, I've used. Um, there's some pressure points back here, you know, some uh, glands that we all have back here. So th these are lymph nodes that you also have and they release a lot of the, your, your fatty cells. So you can also massage that as well, you know? And those are things that help you. Um, like I said, thank you very much for you people if you wanna subscribe. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the uh, the people that are taking a look at this, and I will see y'all soon on my next video. We'll be talking about some dark circles, and I'm going to show y'all some natural ingredients on what to do. Uh, you can have in the refrigerator and use it, and they're, they're good for your dark circles. Um, there's a lot of people that have uh, dark circles. Like I said, they're all over the world. There's a lot of secrets. I've traveled all around uh, parts of the world. There's a lot of secrets that I bring back in my travels, too. Um, uh, I know that for a fact, you know, Arabic people, they have beautiful skin and, and, and some of their secrets in, is in what they eat. And uh, a lot of olive oils are involved with that. And also a good diet that they have. Uh, they don't eat a lot of uh, candies and uh, other things that can create blemishes and pimples like Americans do here. Uh, Europeans tend to take care of a lot of their skin. And I wish that we could do that here more in America. Uh, but that's what I'm here for, to teach you all that. Um, of course, the, you have the uh, Tokyo and, and we have the Korean people. Uh, those are good products as well. They have beautiful skin as well. So, you know, there's a lot of secrets out there that we, we can use and eat healthy, stay healthy, and then your, your face will look healthy as well. French people already got that down. They got a good beauty markup on their products and their face, and so those are good. And I'm not saying Americans don't have, everyone has good products, but I think that we could do better, learn. Uh, there's still a lot of things to learn besides giving out medication out there. You know, there's a lot of natural ingredients we can take care of our face and ourselves. And those are some health tips about our face. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe and do that little bell thing. I don't know what this is for. They told me that if you do a little bell and you subscribe that you can get my video. So do that. And I thank you and I appreciate it. And I love you. Goodbye, my pretty people. Take care. Bye-bye.